Everyone take a seat because class is about to begin at Hacker High School. Secure Ninja. I'm speaking with Bob Monroe here at Cyber Safety Village at RSA. And Bob, you are with Hacker High School, and I understand that you guys actually teach teenagers how to get into hacking. Tell me a little bit about this program. Well, Hacker High School is designed to teach teenagers, a global audience of teenagers, about how to become a cybersecurity professional. We're not an awareness training program. We're a full-fledged, from beginning to end, how to be a professional in the cybersecurity community. We have 11 different lessons that are translated into 26 different languages. Now the nice thing about these lessons is they start with basically ports and protocols. Then we go into operating system security where we're covering uh, Microsoft, we're co covering uh, OSI. Then we go into OpenBSD, we talk about Linux, all the different uh, operating systems, the main ones. We also cover Unix as well. Then we go into firewall security, we talk about uh, email security, we also talk about uh, uh, web security, web server security. Then we go into uh, malware analysis. We go from malware analysis, our lessons go into uh, password protection, digital forensics, and then we go into attacks. So each lesson covers pretty heavy duty topics that you would expect adults to have. But we expect our students to know this because when they graduate, they're gonna get a certification from the Institute for Security and Open Methodology our parent organization that's saying that they're a Hacker High School graduate. So that way when they enter the workforce, they don't need additional training. They already know everything they need to to start a job, start a career as a cyber safety professional. Wow, that's outstanding to teach them that much information in high school that they can even bypass any training after that. Or I guess the, the next career step would give them additional training, but it really gets them prepared. What, um, what was your sort of inspiration for uh, starting this program or, or becoming affiliated with the program? Why do you think it's important for uh, high schoolers to learn these skills? Well, there is no real, there has not been any real program out there that focuses on high school students. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of scratching our heads going, okay, how are we training the next generation of cybersecurity professionals? Well, we're, we're not. So. Pete Herzog, our managing director, he's the one that came up with the concept, the idea of Hacker High School. Um, I was brought on board to basically what we call bobify the lessons. <laughs> so what I did was I took the lessons, the original lessons, and I tore them apart and edited them, rewrote them. I threw in jokes about cheese whiz and smelly socks. <laughs> um, I added all kinds of different content in there so that way the, the, the lessons are fun, but they're also easy to digest. Right. For example, there's one lesson on email, email security, where we actually take the reader and we turn the reader into an email. And we show the reader going through a network and how they reach their destination. One of the parts about that is we show what would keep an email from reaching its destination. What would keep the reader from reaching their destination? And one of the first things that keeps an email from reaching the destination is if they're too big if they're too large to make it through. The next thing that would keep them from reaching their destination is if, they're, uh, if they don't have proper identification, if they don't have proper source and they don't have proper destination, that'll keep them from reaching their destination. And then the third thing that will stop them from reaching their destination is if they're fragmented, if they're parts and pieces all over the place. So then we put it all together and we say, you as the student, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're eating proper foods, eating good nutrition, that you're staying in shape and you're exercising so you don't get too big. Then make sure that you have proper identification on you at all times so that people know who you are. And the last part is have your act together. Don't get fragmented. Stay focused on what you're doing. That's just one, you know, one segment that we're using within Hacker High School. Yeah, so a nice little analogy there to help them understand exactly. how it all works. And it seems like a very hands-on training. I see you've got a lot of interesting gadgets here. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with all of this. Well, with Hacker High School, because we are a global organization, there's a lot of countries that we're teaching Hacker High School in where they can't afford laptops and desktops. So what we've done is we've we've altered our training a little bit, so that way the, our lessons can be taught on microcomputers like the Raspberry Pi, the Beagle Bone Board, Udo, or other microcomputers. So our lessons can be taught on that, and on, as well as the lessons, uh, the exercises can be done, and the demonstrations can also be done. On top of that, 
the students can turn any one of these into a penetrate, full penetration testing platform. Besides that, they can also do a security audit using on one of these microcomputers and then turn around, swap out the chip, and now they've got a digital forensic laboratory. When they're done with that, they can learn Python coding, scratch coding on these. Then when they're done with that, if they want to add, like let's say a camera, then they have a home, a home surveillance system easily put together. If they want to go even further, hook a, pass, a, pa, a passive infrared detector, and now we're looking at perimeter security. So these devices are extremely capable and customizable, plus they only require five volts. So they're very low voltage, they're very small. And that is one of the big aspects of using microcomputers is, goes into the next part, is that these are the next threats to the internet. These are the next threats to organizations because they are so small and they are very inexpensive. I talked about uh, just a second ago about this being a full penetration testing platform. You reverse that a little bit and now you've got an attack platform. I can take one of these devices or somebody who wants to do something bad, they would take this device and they would put it in like say a planter box or underneath a trash can. If the device gets discovered, then the attacker is just out $35 for the device. Mm -hmm. That's inexpensive to get inside of a network. That's dangerous when you put it that way. It's kind of scary. So, okay, so what I'm wondering is Hacker High School, it's obviously not an actual high school or in place of high school. Um, how does the program fit into their regular curriculum? Is it like a summer camp, an after school? How does that work? Well, uh, we have the 11 uh, lessons and they're available online. If you just okay. go to hackerhighschool.org, you can download our lessons in whatever language that you want to read them in, you know, just download our lessons, and uh, what we ask is that uh, these uh, professionals out there, the security professionals, that they take the lessons and they take them to their local high schools and teach them to their local high school students. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much how we teach everybody else out there. We provide the training material. It's all free. They're in PDF format. We're also working on doing the video labs that will accompany that. But that takes funding, that takes resources, and that's one of our issues as being a non global nonprofit is, you know, we don't have any backing. So it's just all of us volunteering our time, right. trying to do the best we possibly can. Right. Well, great. That's so awesome that you're getting cybersecurity out there into, uh, into high schools and preparing more students for the workforce. We really, really appreciate your work. Thank you. And uh, let's so... so our, the, the website again? Uh, it's hackerhighschool.org. Hackerhighschool.org. And they yep. can go there, download the lessons, and that's how people can get involved? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for speaking with us, Bob. Thank you. And uh, keep up the great work. Appreciate that. Have a good day. Definitely. You too. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube to Secure Ninja TV if you haven't already. Like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time.